What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content daily. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound, so come by and say hello. All right, I have been watching this like a hawk today because we got oh so very close to having a new all-time low. Now, according to, let's go down here, according to CoinMarketCap, and I just confirmed this on CoinGecko as well, the all-time low was on January 22nd. Uh, CoinMarketCap here is reporting it as 10.24 cents. That's in USD. So where were we today? Well, we dipped as low as, let's see, what's this? 10.28. 10.28, I think that's the lowest that, I, that I've seen here. So 10 point, 10 point 0.28 cents. So like 0. 0.0004 pennies away or not dollars away from uh, the all time low. So what does this mean? Well, clearly, let's look at the uh, let's look at the three month here. We can even look at the, the one year, even though this token has been out for a year, but there is a trend and there's a trend and it's it's hard to it's hard to argue against. Now, I've been saying this for a while that, you know, there is a lot of sell pressure on SPS. In fact, even during the uh, stream today, uh, during my live stream here on YouTube, uh, we were we were talking about this and I am even I even got a little double minded because I've been very much in, yo, let's stack as much SPS as possible. We'll buy cards later. But a part of me after having so much fun at the end of last season was like, you know what? I kind of want to start playing in like diamond. Or actually, even just gold, too, would be nice because uh, I don't even have the power for gold, too, in my main deck. So I was like, well, maybe I should start selling some SPS like everybody else is doing. Right. And uh, and buy some cards with it. But I don't know. I, this isn't even me like counteracting the or trying to counteract or counter trade the the main uh, move right now. It's just I, I still feel like SPS has the most potential. Now, that does not mean that it cannot go lower. So, you know, I'm I, I can let me put it this way. I would be shocked. Right. I, I'm not one to make price predictions, but I would be shocked if it did not hit the single digits over the next couple of weeks. Now, that is barring any like last minute news that SPS is going to have some kind of utility. And as I was discussing on the stream today, looking further out, or I'm not looking further out, but just looking at what is to come, you know, based on the roadmap we were given and then some of the updates since then, the only thing that we have a time frame for, like an actual hard time frame for, is modern and wild. Uh, so that is supposed to come out in about a month and a half. I'm recording this mid March and they said by the end of April is when is like the hard conservative date that they're giving. So the thing is modern and wild format, that's not going to impact SPS price at all. Uh, there's like zero incentive for people to be using SPS on that. Uh, the other thing that we know is in the works right now is the rewards economy, but, uh, I don't believe that that is going to come out anytime soon. And even if it does, uh, I'm thinking it might actually come out with modern format, but I'll save that for, for another video if I have more thoughts on it. But even with that rewards economy, that's impacting DEC, that's impacting rewards cards, that's impacting, you know, packs, which they've already discussed and, and decided, but none of that's going to change like SPS, right? So what we know about in terms of like SPS ranked battles, for example, there's no time frame on that. Uh, Rift watchers, we were given a rough time frame of June and July, but that is still, very much up in the air. And then land is, who knows, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> excuse me, like who, who knows when, when land will be. And there's not, what I'm trying to say is there's no talk about any of this stuff. Now, again, I'm not trying to throw shade anywhere. I'm not trying to say, you know, like I understand there's delays. And actually, like I said, I know the team is hard at work and they're trying to deliver the best game and experience ever. So this isn't a critique on the team and what the team is doing. This is a critique on, okay, well, they're, at this point in time, there is no upward price catalyst for SPS and only continued downward pressure as the token becomes more and more diluted. So, you know, this is this is a situation and I'm, I've been trying to explain it to people in the comments and on Discord where it's just like, I can be like long-term bullish on a token and short-term bearish, but I don't want to take the chance of being short-term bearish, of trying to time the market, if that makes sense. So, you know, I, I don't want to try and like predict the low 
and then go all in at that point. I would rather just keep dollar cost averaging in, which is what I've been doing. And the thing is, this token has dipped so hard. I mean, we're down officially like 90% now from the recent high uh, at a dollar or whatever it was. I think it was even more than a dollar. Uh, actually, this doesn't really count because... This was from July, so this is right after the launch of the token. But you can see here, the highest that I see is about 92 cents. I wonder where we were on the daily, or where we, where we might have closed on the hourly or something. But um, actually, let me see here if I can pull that in. Three month, oh no, this only goes, this only goes to, okay. Well, we don't need it, we don't need to, to cover that. That's That's kind of irrelevant to the point of this. But as we're looking ahead, like I'm saying, there's no there's no upward price catalyst. Now, if what are the things that they could come out with? Um, there could potentially be another promo card. There could be potentially be uh, you know a use case for vouchers. So maybe the voucher store comes out. But that to me, I think would quickly move voucher prices. Although, again, all the assets in this game are so connected right now. So like DEC goes down, SPS goes down, vouchers go down, vouchers are under a dollar right now. So it's like one of those things where, you know, everything is just kind of taking a tumble because everything is so interconnected. We don't have any kind of decoupling yet between SPS and DEC. And, um, you know, that's that's also for another video. I'm not talking about DEC here. So it's just at this point in time, the, those are the only real catalysts. If there is some kind of use case for the voucher that comes out or we get some kind of hint, right? Some kind of just little teaser that the team gives to us maybe during a town hall or maybe during a post where they say, here's how we're thinking about doing player staking, for example, or here's the rough time frame that we have for player staking. That could be like some kind of upward price pressure or at least reduced downward pressure because then everyone's just like, mm, okay, this sounds like the team is talking about it now. So there is a little bit of like, let's, you know, let's, let's wait and see instead of like selling all my SPS today to buy some cards. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to some and see what happens. So at this point in time, I, it's still hard for me to like, continue buying cards or, or to, to buy cards. So I've just continued dollar cost averaging everything I have into SPS. So like I said, the goal is to become an SPS whale. Is this the smartest thing to do? I don't know. This is not financial advice. This is not even like gaming advice. This is just me and what I'm doing, what I'm going for at the moment. There's not even technical analysis here. So I don't know how to like disclaim my videos even more. It's more so just to start a conversation with you guys to see what your thoughts are, where you see the market going, where you see the, the price potentially of the token and cards and values of all of the assets in the game going because maybe together as a hive mind we can figure this out um, or at the very least if you if you know what happens in markets when everybody thinks one thing the opposite's going to happen so we're just crowdsourcing ideas to see how everybody feels right now and then uh, we can all counter trade that at some point so that's all i have in this video for you guys today i uh, just want to share with you that we are approaching the all-time low and it does seem in my opinion in my humble opinion that we are going to we are definitely going to cross it and probably hit the single digits very very soon so Again, I have to stress that I am incredibly bullish on Splinterlands, but I try to keep it realistic with you based on what I'm seeing. So I don't want anybody like clipping this and taking it and being like, oh yeah, he's like hates the game. No, I don't. Like, in fact, I have I have been nonstop buying SPS as it has dipped from a dollar. Actually, no, the first time it dipped to 80 cents, I bought a huge chunk at 80 cents. And ever since then, I have been continuing to buy more and more and more. So I'm just reducing my cost basis here. I believe in the team. I believe uh, that they will, in their mission, to drive value to this token. And it's going to take some time. And that time frame, like I said, could be could be like six years and a lot can happen in six years but you know that's that's kind of the way i'm looking at it right now this game has been around for i believe almost four years at this point and talk to any of the ogs i'm not one but talk to any of the ogs if you'd been around and just been playing and just been accumulating and just been been here and been part of the ecosystem you are in a much better place today than you were three, four years ago, even probably two years ago or a year ago at this point. So that's all I have for you. Have an amazing rest of your day. I will catch you all in the next video and I will see you around the game. Take care.